What is up, bikers and trikers? It's your boy Aaron back with another video, and this time we got another new bike the 2022 CF Moto 650 Adventura, Adventura, something. <laughs> You can look it up online. I don't know how you spell it. It's either or not spell. It. <laughs> I don't know how you say it. It's either Adventura or Adventura. Take your pick. I'm from West Virginia. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I'm going to say Adventura. And that's what I choose to say, and that's what we're going to leave it at. Let's get into this quickly. You can already tell I'm doing highway riding on it. That was one thing that I could not find when I was looking up videos on this bike, was anyone really getting into highway riding on it? Now, obviously you buy this bike so you can hit some trails, but also so you can do some touring, I would think. That's why I bought it. With that being said, this bike in eco mode on the highway loves, and I do mean loves, 70 to 85. I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll run way higher. Trust me, I've already had it up that, you know, past that. But that's besides the point. This bike loves 70 to 85. It is comfortable in those speeds. Uh, and especially in eco mode, which is wild. But it runs great on the highway in eco mode. That is the mode I would prefer to have it in. One, I'm sipping gas. And two, it just runs better. This thing also eats the roads, bumps, and potholes. And I might say it eats them a little better than my Harley Davidson. Now, of course, the Harley probably needs to be, the suspension probably needs to be rebuilt, probably needs new suspension, but we're not doing it, that's expensive. This bike, on the other hand, the suspension is completely adjustable. The front forks, the, the shock, everything on this thing completely adjustable six ways from Sunday and and that's another reason that I'm in love with it a lot of you are probably thinking oh it's a 650 it probably doesn't have a lot of power you would be right until you hit 4,000 rpm as soon as you hit 4,000 rpm and higher don't care what gear you're in this bike absolutely comes alive um, I did a pull it's not in this video or at least some of it's not in this video but i was doing a pull up a hill on the interstate here and just wide open throttled it this bike took off plenty plenty of passing power not gonna have a problem passing people on the interstate it's got plenty of power for that so you don't have to worry about a single thing about that the highway riding is fantastic on this but where it shines which it's supposed to is on the twisties which you're about to see because we're about to take this thing up east river but before we do that this is part of that pool you can tell i'm running 85 i think right now 84 somewhere around there this bike's doing great go through east river tunnel here i know some of you folks have never seen a tunnel and i can tell you one thing the speed limit through here is 55 that doesn't mean go below 55 that's why the interstate gets backed up and all you people are mad about it it's because y'all get off slow quit driving slow but we're lucky enough to live near two of these tunnels which are pretty cool we're gonna go through here and pull off and hit up east river before that though i want you guys to look at that tft display and all the buttons if you notice have lights in them something the 700 event or 700 heritage did not so a little classier on this bike if i might say the windshield's a great height I'll probably get me the little clip-on extension though. Amazon has one for like 30 bucks. Um, just to deflect the wind a little bit higher above my head. I'm six foot. The windshield's full, you know, all the way up. It is an adjustable windshield. So you got room to go up, room to go down. But I will probably get that clip-on just to get it off of my head because right now it's directing it right at my head, which isn't a problem, but I just, I don't, I'm not a fan of it maybe quiet it down a little bit more i know i complained about the big mirrors on the 700 that's because cf moto should have put uh bar end mirrors on that bike and they didn't this bike 
you kind of expect these kind of mirrors and they're fantastic they, they look great i think and you can see out of them one thing that i want to really talk about though is that tft display i know if you watched my 700 video review i was complaining because that bike didn't have it and i will say it cf moto i know you you did that kind of display just for the look of the bike but it needed this display if you would have added this display you would almost made a perfect bike you didn't so therefore i can't say it's a perfect bike <laughs> also you should have changed the seat up a little bit better and put a leather leather cover on it from the get-go that would have made it the perfect bike which is another main reason why i got rid of it and got this bike i'm six foot 280 pounds and this bike fits me perfect i mean i have to tiptoe oh there's some bad riding right there going over that double yellow that's me not being used to the bike and being a horrible rider at a new bike don't do that folks but as i was saying i'm six foot 280 pounds i have to tiptoe when i'm either pushing this bike forward or backing it out so it's a very tall bike but with that being said it is also a very comfortable bike to stand up on which i never would have thought i needed to do until i got this bike right here very great standing up wise this thing is eating this mountain up as you can tell it, it, this bike was like born for this kind of stuff i feel this is where it, it tears everything else apart i think it even might do a little bit better than the 700 heritage uh, or the clx whatever whatever you want the clx 700 i can't wait to get on my buddy's sport and do a review of it which is coming up very soon just to compare this bike and then that bike going up the same mountain same turns all that good stuff of course it'll probably eat it up better because it's designed for that but this bike is fantastic going up this mountain so what i'm going to do is i'm going to let you guys finish watching the rest of this going up the mountain afterwards we're going to get into a little in-depth look at this bike and go over every feature that this bike has to offer so enjoy the rest of this riding and stick tuned after that be a little another segment there explaining all the features that this bike has to offer and all the specs about it So here is the up close and in depth of the Adventura 650. As you can see, I mean, this thing is a sleek looking machine. It's got a nice wide seat, comfortable seat, especially if you're going to try doing two up. This is really like one of the only bikes I think CF Moto makes that uh, would make two up riding remotely comfortable <laughs> I definitely would not want to uh, be doing two up riding on a 700 or anything like that because it just does not look comfortable in the slightest now the one thing again I want to mention 
that I think is amazing is it comes with these bags and these are hard bags that are made by Shad which makes a lot a lot a lot of uh, dual sports stuff and just like any other kind of like luggage carry on thing they make a lot of that plenty of rooms you can tell I've got stuff in them also CF Moto and Shad did this right pick up pull off now your bags off that was super quick I did it with one hand and I even put it back on with just one hand so there's that for starters let's see here ooh, ooh, a little bit of sticker action there <laughs> as I said this seat super 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 soft really comfortable to be doing long rides on um, rode 150 miles on it the video that you saw me doing the bike weighs 480 pounds which I personally think is light I've heard of other people say that, the, the, you know it's kind of heavy for what this bike is but again I've never really done adventure riding so I don't really know but to me it feels light uh, it's got a 4.8 gallon fuel tank uh, which is killer I think because it's what that Harley over there has on it and uh, so it should be able to get some pretty good gas mileage super pumped for that I think if my math is right I should be able to get theoretically 220 some miles but I doubt that's gonna happen anyways let's get to it so your hand controls here you've got your brights you got your signals your horn and your mode selection right here from eco to sport over here I got your up down back and enter straightforward there you've got your signal or you're not signal <laughs> your bright light flasher right here let people know you're passing and or anything else you need to flash people for clutch lever obviously your brake lever over here they kept it simple uh, flashers emergency flashers on and off that is it now one thing I think that CF Moto could have done better on this bike I think was the fact that they could have put cruise control on this thing and they did not now why they decided not to do that I don't really know I'm not CF Moto so I can't really tell you all right, so let's get into what everybody really wants to see, and that's this awesome TFT display. So as you can tell, I mean, turning it on, I've got a light shining directly on it. You can see this screen extremely well. Um, there's so many things that this thing will do. I'm going to start out with what I think is the coolest thing that you can do with this, and that would be the GPS. And I will show you here. I'm going to pull it up here. Of course, you got to have the CF Moto Ride app, which obviously not a big problem at all. Type in your address. I'll type in Blacksburg here. Now, as you can see, start navigation. Drive south on Charwood Avenue. It's going to pull up automatically. Drive north okay. on Charwood Avenue. County which is super cool. Then turn right onto Frontier Place. And it's going to give me directions now why that is showing in inches i'm not real sure uh zach kind of made fun of me on that yesterday it hasn't done that before but the last two times it has so i'm not quite sure what's up with that but even with this up okay you've got your direction you've got the time that you're supposed to get there which is in uh, military again not really sure about that either is what it is um, but you get your mileage up here so that's super cool that it displays all that uh, you still have your fuel your miles an hour and your uh, your coolant temperature now I'm not sure if this changes if I put it in eco let me double check let's see 
Uh, so it doesn't change the display at all. It just changes, tells you if you're in sport or if you're in eco, which is okay. Not a problem at all there. Uh, so we're going to exit back out of that. Now, as you can tell, we're in eco mode now. And as you heard me talking before, if you switch the modes, it changes the display. I forgot I got to have the fuel on. So sport and eco. Super cool that it gives you two different displays there. Again, eco on highway mode is where it's at. Big fan of all that. Hold your uh, enter button here. It pulls up your settings screen. Now again, you can hook this up to Bluetooth. I haven't had any recent calls, so of course it's not going to let me call anybody. But this will also hook up to like the Bluetooth helmet and stuff like that. If you're listening to music, anything like that. Um, come here to settings gives you all that you know miles per hour uh, kilometers an hour go back time format you can change all that you can change the temperature to Celsius to Fahrenheit we want Fahrenheit obviously because we're in America and don't know how to switch over to the other unit there <laughs> uh, connection you got your Bluetooth settings of course uh, let's check this out I haven't checked any of this out so okay so I can uh, I can put which is fantastic I'm glad I can do this uh, you can put optional info on your home screen so instead of having my odometer it gives me my trip mileage so 272.8 is what's been put on this bike since it's you know since I've well not since I've had it but well, yeah, since I've had it. So, the thing is, I don't really know how to go about clearing that. So that's something we gotta we gotta find out. I don't really know how to reset the trip meter there. So maybe we can go into settings here and do that. Let's see real quick. Information. Nope. Sorry, wrong one. Ah, here we go. Trip reset. How about that? Didn't know that's where that was at. So if we hold the back button, it'll take us to the home screen. Ah, okay, yep. Zero miles. So that's how we do that. That's great. Good good to know that. Let's go through the rest of this stuff, see what we got here. Optional info two. So we can choose between seeing our voltage, our instant fuel economy, our ride time, total riding time consumption uh, top speeds stuff like that so you can really customize this thing your home screen any real really any which way you want so that's really cool uh, of course we don't need to set the time the time is correct so that's really 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 cool that you can have all this uh, all of this going on here let's go up to information I'd hit the right button. Go into information here. So it gives us our voltage, coolant temp, no warnings, so we're good there. Service. So I've got 2,832 miles till I've got to have a service. However, I'm still in break in. So we will have to do break in oil change here within the next uh, 300 miles. So got that going on and we'll have to have that going so not a problem there let's see what else we got here miles info okay odometer trip so obviously i reset everything let's go down to trip two because i haven't reset it so 272.8 miles uh speed was 31 mile an hour I guess that's like average consumption so 50.4 mpg that's what it's showing I think that's pretty good myself so take it as you want navigation of course we got to open the CF Moto app for that not a big deal go back and that's really about it for the settings screen. But man, I mean, that's a lot of features for what it is and what's on this bike. Um, 
super super cool going over some other stuff here real quick so if we get down in here get in here you can see there's a USB port and this is on the front so allows you to hook up really you know anything charge anything hook some devices up anything you really want to do there so that's really 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 cool I think um, I think it's cool then to add that again you don't really get that in a lot of stuff man at, at all as in like lower model or not even lower model bikes like for instance the uh, I don't think the V-Strom has it V-Strom doesn't have a lot of these features actually check out the awesome headlight there it's a super cool looking headlight really aggressive looking I think it's got LED turn signals give a little so yeah I mean this bike is definitely visible that's for sure a little bit better so I think than the 700 so but that's really about it guys I mean there's there's a lot that I could keep going on and on and on about this bike but I think you really saw all of it um, I can't wait to get it on some roads some dirt roads I think we'll really enjoy that and have a good time with it um, but that'll do it for right now guys thanks again for watching if you're not a subscriber make sure to hit that subscribe button hit the bell so you get notifications when we post and uh, keep it uh, keep it between the ditches and keep the shiny side up we'll see you guys Fast life, the fast living. fast living. They see the ambition, they know I'm past driven. <laughs> Look, we are not the same, this is not a game. Not a game. I've been swerving through the city in and out of lanes. Yeah, yeah. cause if I see it, then I want it, then you better know I got it. Ain't yeah. no watches, yeah. I'm about to do the damn thing. Yeah. I'm an outlaw, you can never catch me. Oh, yeah. I'm in first place, you can never. These are the moments, only got one life. This is your moment, whether wrong or right. You're on enemy, you're on enemy, you're on enemy. You're on enemy. I fall, I keep running Feel the pain, but I love it, yeah. You know I'm built for it, you ain't gotta ask twice